what is going on here? All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, we had a major catastrophe with Brent's truck. As you can see, we cut the frame in half. No, just I'm kidding. So this is uh, Brent's engine dolly. He made this up from uh, a couple parts trucks that he had laying around. Had some stuff that was junk and wouldn't uh, wouldn't sell. So this is a little conglomeration that he made. Uh, last video that you saw the truck, we were putting the body on, and you know we put it on in a in a hurry. We did it in a day, and um, you know the video wasn't real long on that. We had everything installed and came to started to look at it, and um, you know we noticed that the gap on the driver's side of the cab to bed was pretty tight but the passenger side was double what the driver's side was uh, went back and triple checked our measurements for cab alignment everything was working out uh, the beds don't have much jostling to them that you can do and I looked at him and I said hey I said did you ever have the frame straightened he says, no. I said, oh. So we got a tape measure and uh, crawled underneath the truck, found out that the uh, frame was out of square, borrowed a gauge from a buddy of mine who has a frame machine. Uh, basically, it's a fixture that gives you an absolute length and then has standoffs that uh, would be up or down, depending on which way you hold it, that are uh, perfect length so that you're not having to worry about getting a belly and a tape measure or worrying about getting different points and making sure that you're actually on the same point. So we found out that the frame was about three quarters of an inch out of square in some places, um, mainly uh, towards the front. Uh, the back of the frame seemed to be okay. And as you can see, you don't see it here. So it has left. However, we have a video of us pulling the engine and everything out. You know, we set it in the dolly here. So we got everything pulled out. We'll show you that video here. That is your chance to be rude. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head. They'll tell you what to do in life instead. Of everything you know that you can get. Don't let them guide your life towards regret. I'll fight for what I love with every breath. My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test If only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down they want to rise up while you drown They want to fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless I can see that they compare I think everyone's against me Maybe something in the air Am I paranoid? I swear a void is forming And they're scared I walk a straight path Not many can say that I'd like to play fast Cross me and there's payback You better pray that I don't see your face at Any place that I go I know you hate that I've been doing fine I'm not wasting any more time I live for the fight and the climb I think that the pain that's deep inside is what defines 
So I won't give up, I'm gon' make it to the top I don't care what's in my way, I swear I'm never gonna stop I could fall flat on my face and I swear I won't get back up Cause I don't deserve a thing and the road ahead is tough They'll try to kick you while you're down They wanna rise up while you drown they wanna fill your head with doubt They're silently scared that you'll figure it out I'll make it look like I'm losing Won't bother hiding my bruises And when they finally think you're wounded Then it's your chance to be ruthless So that's how we ended up getting the engine and stuff out of the new frame and into his little dolly contraption here. Uh, once we removed the frame, uh, we did some eyeballing with it. And just in this general area, you could see this side of the frame had a little bit of a bow out. Uh, the other side of the frame didn't seem to have it. And then up here in this front corner, you can see um this horn was turned a little bit so whenever he brought it out to me i had asked him about it and he said he knew nothing about it the it wasn't hit in the front corner however you could see somebody had tried to straighten it at some point it was a little bit wonky looking but it looks like it was straightened correctly but it wasn't to the point where it was you know hey this is going to be a problem however once we talked to the alignment shop that was going to have the frame. He said that it looks to be like this front corner was hit at some point and it pushed this rail back. But instead of pushing the whole rail back, it pushed the rail back and bowed it out here. So what happens is the main majority of the issue 
is in this corner. So there's no cab mount here. You can see that there used to be a cab mount here on this frame, but this cab mount is shifted this way. So what happens with that is, you know, that pulls, it, it kind of like makes the cab sit on the frame funny. Now, if you make your measurements the same from side to side, it's going to mess with your gap back here. But what didn't make sense to us was, why is the cab shifted to where the driver's side is tighter? So what happened is, it, it pushed this rail back enough, and there's a little bit of a bow in the back side of the frame somewhere. Luckily, the shop we're taking it to is uh, excellent. So hoping they can get it all straightened out and figured out for us. So once we get the frame back, we're going to have another video. I know you're so tired of seeing videos about putting Brent's cab on and taking Brent's cab off, but we will have another video of putting it on. We might skip that one and just because I'm tired of videoing the Brent's cab going on and off. However, hopefully it will be the last time. So you can see his little contraption here is pretty nice. And then you can see the uh, cab and bed are back there with all the parts back in them. So we are uh, hopefully going to have this thing back soon. And we'll be uh, putting it back together again. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I know this is a terrible update, but it's what you got to do to make sure it's right. I mean, we could have fudged things around and said, you know, it'd been all right and put it together and call it a day but we want it to be right so we're taking the steps to make it right um, there's been some lessons learned along the way and hopefully you guys are learning from these mistakes as well so thank you for watching guys i really appreciate the uh, support that i've been getting in doing these i uh, really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel watch the other videos on brent's project here among other projects that we had going on and uh, hopefully we'll get this truck rolled out of here because we've got some other stuff that needs to get done. Uh, so this truck is definitely taking up most of the shop. But we'll try to get this baby done and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.